You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. Aw, oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle. And I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything. That I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly, while I still had the chance. When it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. It was weird. What the? But suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. So how's life, Tommy? Yeah, going okay. Just... just... Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, Tom, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do, then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party and go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with her. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah, Frank. One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're in an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a call from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at our warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. What have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour.
they, they, they put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Yeah, watch. See? It's, it's, it's real easy. You can take, 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 take this car or something more than whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie. Hey Tommy, we're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We want you with us in case of any trouble, but it should be real easy. We don't really have to do nothing, just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking mostly before we even get there. I'll do the driving. The cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go.
life. Police, countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure he ain't too bad. Saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole her right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? I had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. Smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, a friend. He's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs> Truck crew, out there in the back, they wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him, but the barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back, but we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. We're standing when we get to within 100 yards. Besides us, of course. Okay, boss.
be summoning all the forces door open. Force it open. Tell me when we're in. We gotta keep each other covered. That was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh. <laughs> we're going to the doctor. I ain't feeling so good. It must be coming down or something. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. I'll keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got it. 
Holly. Looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Pauline? What are you doing there so late? Good evening, doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. The Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, you'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. That's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one. <laughs>